There's how we buy and sell houses. Complicated. The VAs run the ads, which drive them to a page that the VA sets up that's got the photos of the house and all the information about the house, and it tells them what to do next. It's also on your website, which the VAs will put on there for you, and we furnish your website for you as part of our plan. Same, the same plan that includes a new CRM called Dreams. We put pointer signs up, pointer signs driving into the house, pointer signs that have nothing on them but an arrow pointing to the house with the phone number. The arrow points to the house, but it's got a phone number in the middle of the arrow, and it's all handwritten. And at the top, mine says lease purchase, lease purchase, then it says no banks and no credit. What does that mean? No banks, no credit. Okay, there's three unique selling propositions right on that sign. Three. What are they? Lease purchase is one. No banks, no credit. There are three very, very good reasons right on that sign for them to call. And when they call, where do they call? called our interactive voice response system, which we have already set up for you. Nikki, would you bring me my phone? Would you guys like to hear that system? How many of you have heard that before? Okay, then what are you doing in this class? <laughs> okay. If you've heard it before, then you've seen this speech before. Bring me my phone. I'll play you our interactive voice response system. When you call your bank, what do you get? An IVR. When you call an airline, what do you get? IVR. When you call your drugstore, what do you get? Today, any company of any size has got an IVR set up for you. Interactive voice response system. Thank you. So, um, what is an IVR? It's really just a sophisticated uh, mailbox, a voice mailbox. But an IVR asks the question, then allows you to give, give it your answer, then it goes on to the next question. So, um, obviously, you can't do that by just trying to expect it somebody will leave you a message with all that information on it. It will never, ever happen. So is an IVR pretty important to the selling house process? What is the only alternative? A human answering the telephone. Do humans make mistakes? Are humans sometimes in a bad mood? Do humans sometimes are not, not available? And sometimes when they answer the phone, do they just totally screw it up? Yes? And sometimes they just don't answer the phone. And then sometimes when humans answer the phone, they got a lousy accent. Humans suck. <laughs> you want to get as many humans out of your business as possible if you can replace it with technology. I can tell you, Global Publishing is a good example of a company that literally generates new customers with no human involved. If you have ever called, me, if you ever called them a radio ad to get a free book and CD, hold your hands up, I'd like to see this, okay? And many of you others have called them and forgot it, okay? When you call them a radio ad to get the free book and CD, it goes into an IVR. No human recorded message, my voice. The first thing it does is capture your, your contact information so we can send you the free book and CD. Now, you have two choices on the free book and CD. Of course, you don't know this until after we contact get your contact information. But you can download it for free, or we can ship it to you for shipping and handling. You choose. Now, once that's over with, then there's an upsell script on there. The upsell script sells a $29 product. It's a great deal, too. A great package. And then right after that, there's a $97 upsell. All that is done on the interactive voice response system. Every company ought to have one of these things. And about 10% of the people who call order something while they're on the phone. Those 10% are customers. The other 90% are uh, free information seekers. We call them pets. They haven't bought anything yet. And then uh, part of our sales floor's whole job is to call those folks back and try to get them to buy something so we can call them customers. Because until they're customers, we cannot spend much money on them. We have to constantly be taking our pets and turn them into customers. All of you guys are customers, but you 
want a mini, or you started out as pets, friendly pets. But then when you turn into customers, you get more of our attention. Mm. Is there any warm coffee left back there? Well. <laughs> so, in your world, when you're trying to get buyers to come in, you let them call your IVR. And your IVR will ask the questions that you need the answers to. Which, what's the biggest answer you're going to need when you're selling a house on terms? How much have you got to put down? Because if they don't, you don't like that answer, anything else they say is irrelevant, isn't it? You know, when you're selling a $250,000 house and they call you and tell you they can put a thousand dollars down, is that somebody you're going to sell a house to? No, not now, probably never. Even though they're already in your system, I wouldn't call those buyers, I'd call those pets. Now when somebody calls you and they start telling you, I'm going to put up $10,000 or more, are they worthy of your attention? Yes. Now honestly, I know you ain't going to like to hear this, but honestly, all buyers should be called back, but not by you. They should be called back by a VA or somebody on your team. I give you the script, it's right in your books, and I believe it's right on your Gold Club site, to call the buyers and screen them to see if they're worthy of even answering and asking questions to, uh, and to put on your buyer's list. Your buyer's list is only built by either buyers calling your IVR, are buyers going to your website and giving you some of the same information? Either way, they should be called back to collect any other facts you need and to determine whether you want them to go to, you to see your house or not. When you're selling a $250,000 house and you've advertised it on a lease purchase and they tell you they can come up with at least $1,000, is that one you need to give the lockbox code to? No. Absolutely not. That's probably the one you better not give the lockbox code to if you want your refrigerator in range to stay in the house. However, when they call you and, they, and, 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 and you ask them, because when the VA's calling them back, they're asking them. See, by the way, all of them that call are lying. They got more than they say they got. You cannot believe the number they give you. So they need to be called back. So they call them and they say they got $10,000. Your VA will be asking them something like, well, listen, $10,000 probably won't get you in this house. What's the most you can come up with? Okay, watch what happens then. The house I showed you first, when they first called in, they had 20 grand. And then Tish asked them, I can tell you right now, he's not going to take that. We've already been offered much more than that. What's the most you can come up with? They said 50 grand. Tish then said, well, I'll see what we can do. So she called me, and I said, their loan is approved. <laughs> I knew they were there. It just took us two months to find them. And they're currently in the house. So, remember, all leads that come in are worthy of some kind of follow-up. I just don't want you to be the one doing it. Incidentally, can you imagine what your life's going to be like if you're answering the telephone all day, every day, mostly from people who couldn't buy a house if you gave it to them? and answer the exact same questions over and over again. How do you think I know this? It took me about 15 years to figure out that I didn't need to be the one answering the telephone. Constant, incessant calls, day in and day. You get 10 times more calls from buyers than you do from sellers. And it literally got me to the point where I didn't want to hear the phone ring. I got nauseous when I heard the phone ring, even though I know if I didn't answer it, there's no business. So get that crap out of your life and let automation do it for you. And we've already got it set up for you. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to rescript anything. Don't touch it if I were you. And I'd leave the voice the way it is. If you want to record it yourself, you can. You want to change it, you can. But why? It works. Besides, so wait till you hear this sexy voice. Zero, 
But if you take a couple minutes like right this, answer a few questions, I'll add you to my VIP buyers list, and then send you the information on all my homes currently available, and the one you talked about, keep you posted until we find one you like. So here we go, press one to get started. All right, now we'll need the name of the street the house is on that you called about. If you remember the street name, press one. Say the street name and then press time. If you don't remember, just press two to continue. All right, now press one and wait for a beat to give me your name. Please spell any uncommon names and speak slowly. Press count when you're finished. Go ahead and hit one now. Ron Grant. Okay, now I'll need your cell number so we can text you the link to all the houses. So enter it now with your area code. Okay, now I'll need your email address so I can send you a list of the houses and update you when I get houses in the future. So when you're ready, press 1, wait for the beep, and please spell and say your email address slowly, and then press pound. So press 1 now. Ron at gmail.com Okay, now tell me what's the most you can put down on the home of your own. Please enter the amount on your keypad now.